producer who's tired of trying to find the right singer. They might bail on you. They might forget to do the song. Sometimes they're a bit expensive, right? Then when you do find the singer, they don't sing the song properly or to your specification. And you may have wasted a lot of time and money. Or maybe you've got a great singer, but you want to give them a track full of singing instructions, but you hand over songs with your vocals. And of course, you can't sing. Well, most producers can't sing and then they don't give the correct reference. And that leads to bad takes or multiple takes. I know that AI can seem like a bad thing in the music industry. But for me so far, it's only just helped me with my creativity. AI won't replace singers. Have drum machines replaced drummers? Have synths replaced pianists? While it's a revolution, AI vocals is just another tool in a producer's armory. So let's check this out. I think you guys will be impressed. Today, we're going to talk about something called AI Studio. AI Studio, as you can tell, is an AI vocal simulation. Basically, it starts with a singer track and all you need to do is double click here and you can add a clip for the singer. And here you've got MIDI notes. And basically, this is a piano roll. So anytime you click on the piano, you'll hear piano sounds. And the good thing about that is you can actually hear the key or the note that the vocal will eventually play in. Every time you click on one of these, the lyric da appears. The da is going to appear as a default. You can always go ahead and change the lyric. So for example, I could say hi, how, da. We'll just leave that one as da. And we can change the length of the notes. Let's just do that. And, and we can also move the positioning of the notes and we can actually hear how that sounds with this vocalist. So let's go ahead and click on play. Okay, so that's basically the starting point. It sounds relatively real in terms of singers, but if you don't like that particular singer, you've got multiple here that you can change. And the simple way to do that is just simply drag the singer into the track. And now I can go ahead and just listen to him instead of her sing exactly the same words and notes. Now we can see here is you've got some things you can adjust. So if I, for example, select all of this and then select modulation, you can actually see all the modulation is there and you can just select it by moving up or down. This flat type of modulation will make the song sound more like auto-tune. The other thing you could do is you can add vibrato. So we select this one here. We can extend the vibrato out to the length of the note. We can also make the vibrato quite big and we can actually start with a lower vibrato and move up. Let's just go back to the note. We'll make the note a bit longer and we'll go back to vibrato. So you can see here how you can start soft and move high. You can add a chord track. And what the chord track is, is basically, as you can guess, it's chords. <laughs> so we can put any chords we want in there. And you can use those chords as kind of a backing for the song. And when you go back into the singer track, you can then go ahead and select scale. Unfortunately, I don't know why, but it's in French. <laughs> so we'll select chord and fold. And all that will do is we'll fold and just show you the chord notes. And similarly, if you select scale, it will fold to the scale that you are choosing here. So for example, we can choose major pentatonic and we can move the notes into pentatonic. So you basically can set the notes to play in the right key. So I think that's pretty cool. So the other thing you can do obviously is sing into it yourself. The best way to do that is to click the metronome on like that click the record button and then just sing into the metronome hello you how are you today so there you go i've just recorded that little section there and then i'm going to drag it into the singer track if you see the convert button you just click on convert basically the singer is going to sing it exactly the same way as you so if you've sang it out of tune the singer will also sing it out of tune obviously they have a better tone to their voice so it may not sound as bad but let's just take a quick listen to it hello you how are you today? So it's not terrible, but we can actually go ahead and fix some of those notes by moving them into the right place. We can use the modulation to tune the notes. The other thing we can do is we can right click here and create a vocal double. Now the percentage here will just say how much of the double it's going to sound like. And the lower the percentage, the more of the variation that you'll have. So you'll have like the notes splitting or changing slightly. But I think 85 to 88% is the sweet spot. So let's go and create those. So as you can see here, it creates two extra tracks. So if you just double click on the track here, you can see that the same singer has created, we've created basically the same track with just minor variations. And the first track is pan to the left. The next one's pan to the right. And we just take a quick listen to that. Hello you, how are you today? We can change the timber and the style. So for example, we can reduce the timber or style. Hello you, 
How are you today? You can actually merge the singers together. So for example, I want to merge this singer, Elra, with the singer called Franklin. I can just do that here, but I can maybe expand her timbre and style and we'll get a blend of the two lead singers singing together. But we'll have Franklin also as the backing singer. Hello you. How are you today? So another thing you can do in a studio is you can import an instrumental track, which I did a bit earlier. It's actually very easy to do that. All you have to do is go into the area that you want and then you just bring the track in and yeah, basically that's it. So let's listen to it. I've looped this selection here. This is just some chords that I've got, basic chords. Okay, and so what I'm gonna do is go into the clip like this, and I'm going to just write some notes basically against the instrumental. So I can see that that's, the, that's one of the notes. So I've written in the notes, and this is how the vocal sounds. Da, 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 da. Okay, so all we need to do now is go in and write the lyrics. So these three da-das will basically be in one sentence because these three notes are basically tied together, linked together. If the notes are separated out, like these two are here, then the words will be separated. But if they're not, they will basically go in as syllables. So for example, da is a single syllable. If we have two syllables in a word, they will be written basically across these two notes. That's probably the simplest way I can explain it, but it's actually something that you get used to Pretty quickly. So I'm going to write lyrics with single syllables just to make it easier to demonstrate. And this last one will be a single word with two syllables. As you can see here, it's automatically said word number one and word number two, and it's just splitting them up even though you see a single word here. And all I've done is put in some very basic lyrics. So let's hear how that sounds. I want you to So that's not too bad, but we can make a few little tweaks to it. So certain words here, for example, this one here, we can add some vibrato. We'll keep the top part of the vibrato high and we'll just keep the lower part low like that. And similarly, I think what we'll do is we'll put some vibrato here as well. I want you to know, baby. And there's a bit of a gap inside here. So what we can do is put some breath in there. So we just click on the breath button, just add breath just to that section there. So let's take a listen to it with the breath section. I want you to know, baby. The other thing you can do to the overall feel of the track. So let's go ahead and do that. You can select all these different types of pencil just to sort of generally lift the mood up like that. And there are other options there. You can do something similar with tension. We can make, even change the format. Falsetto makes it a bit gentler in sound. We can even add a bit of air to the vocals. Let's just do that as well. Just a bit more air than before. I want you to know, baby. We also can make this section smaller. We just click and drag it like that. And we're going to just select all of these notes and press Control D. That's just going to copy them. As you can see, it's filled out the entire section. But what we're going to do here on the last note is we're going to just make sure that that last note is changed. And this one here. So now let's add some more lyrics here. So where it says, I want you, we're going to just change that to... I need you. <laughs> Let's be super original here. And we'll just call this each day or something cheesy. Instead of baby, we'll say, oh yeah. I don't know what that's going to sound like, but doesn't matter. So let's go and hear how this new section sounds. So as I said, it's basically the same as the first section with some tweaking in the notes. I need you each day. Oh yeah. I want you to know, baby. I need you each day. Oh yeah, I want. Okay, so it's not 100% perfect. We can tweak things like, for example, the word I, it can be a little bit shorter perhaps, but I'm not going to do that. I'm pretty happy with the result. So now we're going to export the track. So just the selected track in this case, is just the vocals. And we call it, uh, I want you to know. And we'll just save it in the downloads section. So we now have just brought the instrumental in, as you can hear like that. Super cool. And then we want to also bring the vocal in, the one we just rendered. And so we just bring that in here. So it fits nice and snugly. And uh, let's just take a listen to it. I want you to know, baby, I need you each day. 
Okay, so the other thing we can do now is now we can start actually making the vocal sound super cool. So for starters, we can add some extra format here. So we can use a little Alter Boy plugin. I want it. And the other thing we can do now is increase the reverb and delay. We've got those on the send track. So let's just slowly increase the reverb and delay. That's without the format, and that's with the format. So that's super cool. So that's a really, really amazing thing, because I'll be honest with you, finding a singer these days is really hard, but if you can learn to use this tool, you can basically use your own singer whenever you want, which I think is kind of like magic.